Lincoln once said that you can repeal all past history, but you still cannot repeal human nature. But he's canceled now, so f*** him. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> uh, I like that one. Nerdorotic.com. Here's the bravest part of Bill Maher's latest anti-woke attack. HBO star connects woke mind virus to authoritarian left chairman Mao. Bill Maher attacking woke overreach has become a dog bites man headline. Uh, the real time with Bill Maher uh, regularly skews identity politics, free speech, suppre uh, suppression, other hallmarks of the new intolerant left. That means Friday's Maher broadside packed a little of news value, at least on the surface. Maher pushed further, though, connecting woke with similar movement that too few people summon when the subject comes up. Chairman Mao's cultural revolution. Are there a bunch of commies and socialists and... In Hollywood, yes, there are. They're usually very rich, and they live behind big, big walls, and they don't think it applies to them. And most of the time, it's just empty-headed idiots who are really saying, please don't burn down my mansion. And finally, new rule. If you're part of today's woke revolution, you need to study the part of revolutions where they spin out of control because the revolutionaries get so drunk on their own purifying elixir, they imagine they can reinvent the very nature of human beings. So changing the very nature of human beings, kind of what we're going through now, kind of what J.K. Rowling is going through right now. Mm. Changing the very nature. Two mm. plus two equals mm -hmm. five. There are no things as genders. Communists, communists thought selfishness, selfishness could be cast out of human nature. Russian revolutionaries spoke of the new Soviet man who wasn't motivated by self-interest, but instead wanted to be part of a collective. No, it turns out he wanted to be on a yacht in a Gucci tracksuit holding a vodka and a prostitute. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> True. True. I mean, well, have you seen the newest stuff with Hassan where he said he, he lives on a basics, like, necessity budget of re related to, like, his life? Oh, so the, with the Porsche? With the mansion he just bought. With yeah, the there's, yeah. there's a video where Destiny just runs through every element of his life and how he's basically bought, like, ex insane things for everything uh, but like yeah Hassan tries to claim that he lives on basic necessities <laughs> and then someone in his own chat is like basic necessity you have to be kidding. and he was like no 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 basic necessity relative to my uh where oh, like, running to choose it, income. It's, well, it's just this like it's this really gross thing where like poor is an aesthetic and Hassan wants it like he's like I'm one of the pores too guys <laughs> it's like what Shut up, Hassan. He's like one of the highest earners on Twitch. Well, uh, yeah, as people point out, it's like once upon a time it was, you know, eat the eat the billionaires and the millionaires, and eventually it became just eat the billionaires. Yesterday I asked Chat GPT, are there any similarities between today's woke revolution and Chairman Mao's cultural revolution of the 1960s? And it wrote back, how long do you have? That's an AI because program. again, in China, we saw how a revolutionary thought he could do a page one rewrite of humans. Mao Ooh. ordered his this. citizens to throw off the four olds. Old thinking, old culture, old customs, and old habits. Pause. So, um, Let the past die. Oh, kill it if you have to. Kill it if you have to. It's, it's Marxism 101. It's Marxism 101. It's been permeating through our culture for years, uh, kind of crescendoing in the last four years. That's what Hollywood has been doing. Uh, destroy the past, destroy culture, uh, old customs. We need to reset everything. We need to destroy history. everything. Gary, uh, his history. History. So they have been systematically doing this in Hollywood with our, with our favorite IPs. And this has always been the big picture, folks. This has always been, when many of us have said this, it's bigger than Star Wars. It's bigger than Star Trek. It's it's about our culture. You know, I just stay in my lane when it comes to pop culture. But if they're doing it here, they're doing it in, on your favorite platform. They're doing it uh, in the MS, uh, MSM. They've been doing it in Access Media. And we all know why these corporations are, for one, they want to do business in China. So they want to call them out. Uh, and and they, want to be part, they want to be part of this. They, they want the... the uh, subjugated consumer uh what happens though in true communists is you won't get that you you get the you get the 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 slave right. the activists the ushering this era in don't care who they have to use or destroy to get there they just don't they win 
Either way, if things get destroyed, they move on to the next thing to usurp. Uh, again, you you notice you're not seeing any big hit, essentially just purely made for woke television or films. They have to be a, a usurped IP. That's what they keep doing. It has to be a usurped IP. Sure, there's plenty of original woke stuff out there, and it's not massively popular. It might be popular in San Francisco in all your major urban areas, but not the rest of the country. Oh, That's not popular. That's not mainstream. Name, name one mainstream <clears throat> woke property that succeeded. That's been it, like massive success, like, yeah. you know, massive, not just like, oh, it was a hit. A million people watched it or two million people watched it. No, that's that's easy to get. Your whole life went in the garbage overnight. No biggie. And those who resisted were attacked by an army of purifiers called the Red Guard who went around the country putting dunce caps on people. <laughs> yeah. Who didn't take to being a new kind of mortal being. A lot of pointing and shaming went on. Sounding awfully familiar, uh, isn't it? A lot, a lot of pointing and shaming. Yep. Oh, yeah. Let him finish. That's does that felt familiar. Oh, we'll talk that, about that. Plead insanity for the crime of being insufficiently radical, then apologize and thank the state for the chance to see what a piece of shit you are, and of course submit to re-education, or as we call it here in America, freshman orientation. <laughs> <laughs> you get the gist of what he was saying. You're right, as that sounds very familiar. Remember when they made a certain or wanted to make a certain Gina Carano go through a Zoom struggle session? How many people was it? The 20 40. To 40? 40. 40. Yeah. But I don't think she expected to be dragged in front of 40 people and shamed into uh, not adhering to the pronoun mafia because that's why they got her it wasn't that jewish thing that was the final that was the fight that's the straw that broke the donkey's back they wanted her as soon as she did beat bop boop beat bop boop. it was over beat bop boop <clears throat> absolutely and uh she would have still been fired by the way i think she knows that but she would have done all that and still been fired they, they wanted the humiliation part first so gina did the smartest thing she could possibly do and it did make her stronger more relevant and probably what's really sucked to go through really sucked to go through nerdrotic.com please subscribe hey if you like what we do here at nerdrotic daily please like share and subscribe and if you could do that with your favorite youtuber as well i'm sure they would appreciate it as much as i do